It's really important before setting up your document for an internal assessment, a piece of coursework, an extended essay, that you have a clear understanding of the formal requirements for your subject. So for example, do you need to include a cover page? What should it include? Do you need a table of contents? What are your chapter headers? How should they be structured? Do you need a reference list? As well, are page numbers required? Do you, is there a specific layout that you need to include? For example, margin sizes, etc. Once you have that understanding, please watch the rest of the video. So once you have a clear understanding of your formal requirements, then you can begin. So I like to make this margin nice and wide. So I would go layouts, margins, narrow. Then I would like to insert a cover page. So insert cover page and choose the style that you want. On the new page that's automatically created, I want you to insert a table of contents. So references, table of contents. Press OK. We can add some data in minutes. Then I want you to insert a section break. So we're going to go layouts, break, next page. And then start typing the first chapter, making sure you've selected in home header one. So chapter one, introduction. Now we need to put some page numbers in. So double click the bottom where it says footer. We're going to insert a page number at the bottom of the page and we're going to put one. Now naught would appear. That's fine. Highlights, format page numbers. Start at one and there we go. Now if a space appears, just delete that to again create some more space for you to work with. Now, because we've selected header, when we go to the contents page and we update table, look, your our headers will appear. So I want to continue inserting some um, chapter headers, making sure that our uh, page numbers appear at the bottom. Okay, just always double check that these things happen. And again, when we type in chapter two data collection, and we continue and we update table, then update entire table sorry then it appears and then we continue into the final page and we can insert a table for references and in the new video i'll show you how to do that 